Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. I'm really wanting to do this series this winter where we just bake something together. So today we're going to make my granny's bread. This recipe is used for everything in our family. Rolls, pizza dough, cinnamon rolls. This is our famous cinnamon rolls at the lodge. But specifically today, I'm going to be making hamburger buns for dinner tonight. We have a friend coming over and I don't have burger buns, so I need to make some really quick. Let's make this together. Granny's bread recipe. Okay, so we are going to start out with two cups of lukewarm water. I just did it to feel it shouldn't be too hot. Um, you should still be able to feel it through the glass and then poke your finger in it, but it shouldn't be too cold. Next, we're gonna do sugar. We only need a third of a cup. Here we go, found it. Third a cup of sugar. I'll add just a little bit more because I'm running a little bit low on the sugar in this bowl. We're gonna need two tablespoons of yeast. I'm just gonna give it a little mix and we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes and then we'll work on the rest of everything else. We only have a couple minutes left so I'm gonna go ahead and get my KitchenAid ready. We want to make sure we have our bread hook attachment. If you don't know what that looks like it's this attachment and we're gonna stick it in the KitchenAid. I made these for Christmas for my in-laws and honestly it was the best bread dough I've done in a while and I did it by hand. I haven't done it by hand in a while. We're going to use the mixer today. We're going to go ahead and add the oil and the salt. You can use whatever salt. There's no particular salt. I just have this pink salt that I really like. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon-ish of salt. And then a quarter cup of oil. I just have this massive jar of vegetable oil from Costco because that's how we shop out here in remote Alaska. It's all Costco sized things. Alrighty, it's been five minutes and this is about to go over the top. It's beautiful. It's a good sign that our water was warm enough. It's activating the yeast. Beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that. And I'm just gonna let it start mixing. And then I'm gonna start adding my flour and I do my flour in one cup increments just because I want it to be well incorporated. And I find this the best way to make sure that it gets well incorporated, incorporated and not like a mix of chunks kind of just everywhere. So here's the first cup kind of just put them in there to mix. Um, it's more just like the last two or three that you really want to make sure you're doing one at a time. See it's starting to mix. I have a little bit stuck on my side so in a couple minutes I'll stop it and push it down with a spatula. You don't want to do that when the mixer's running because you don't want to get your hands stuck. Might be speaking from a little bit of experience, you know. Kind of just all the sides. I'm gonna push it off there. We'll let it keep going. I'm also vlogging today, so like on I'm vlogging on TikTok, which means that I'm doing it all over all over my phone. And it's just voiceover. So I wanna say say hi to the camera but you guys won't be able to see it, but hi! If you guys go back and watch the vlog, this is the moment. Making the stuff. Here we go. That's it. Here we go. There it is. It looks beautiful. Picked up all the clumps down in there. And now I'm going to just take the bread hook off. I'm gonna scrape off all the extra dough. Oh, the dough even feels fantastic. 
sometimes, like depending on how warm your kitchen is, you can just leave it here in the kitchen. I like to cover it with a bread towel. Check this one out, all Alaska stuff. And we're gonna let it rise for about an hour. I think though my wood stove has been on and it's quite warm back there. So I'm gonna go put it in my entryway slash pantry. So you guys can follow me. It's significantly warmer in this area of the house than it is um, anywhere else. So kind of just hiding the bread. We're just gonna wait for the bread to rise and we'll be back in about an hour. been one hour. Ooh, check it out. It's looking great. This is my favorite part. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll it up into balls and then I'm going to let it rise a little bit more and then I'll bake them. in my hands so they don't get sticky. You can also use flour too. Wow. Man, look at that. That's beautiful. So I'm just going to, and don't forget to wash your hands. Sorry, I did not show you guys that process. <laughs> I feel like, you know, at this point we're all adults here. We know to wash our hands. Well, I hope we're adults that know how to wash our hands. So I'm going to kind of flatten it and grow it a little bit. This is going to be my burger buns. I have no method to this. Literally just stretching it out, but also want it to be thick. So trying to roll it, but also stretch it. These might be super uneven. I think the best way to describe it is usually when I'm making like rolls with my bread I'm like lightly doing you know this kind of motion but with this I'm pressing down a little bit more perfect we're gonna let these babies rise I could probably I still have half the dough left I could probably make another six of these so I'm thinking at the end of everything this is gonna be about 12 burger buns with all the bread dough that we have available. Bread is looking amazing. Let's take a look at the rolls. Also looking amazing. Let's plop them in the oven for about, this guy's gonna be there for about an hour, but these are gonna be in probably, I don't know, honestly. Let's start baking them and see. I will just test them out as we're, as we're going. Come be an auntie in the video? Mm -hmm. Yeah, come stand right here. Okay. Yeah. Window. 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 I have the cutest little assistant. Say hi. Hi, Mama. <laughs> hi, Mama. <laughs> You're so sweet, Willow. All right, should we show them our bread? <laughs> our bread? Ta da! It's our buns. What? Yeah, hamburger buns. Hamburger. <laughs> Yeah, hamburger buns. I hate. Yeah, so I'm just going to split them in half, and honestly, they're perfect. They're exactly what I wanted them to be. Hi, um, Mama. <laughs> Hi, Mama. I'm very excited about the using these tonight for the burgers. I'll show them in a picture at the end, but thank you guys for following along and watching us make bread. Mm. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you next time. No. No, okay. <laughs>